FX Empire. This is Chris taking a look at the Euro. The Euro initially fell slightly during the Friday session, but has turned around to show signs of life again. Ultimately, the 1.0750 level has offered support, and I think a lot of people are going to be looking at it through that prism. The market breaking down below there opens up a move down to the 1.07 level, which was the latest swing low. Anything below there opens up the trap door and significant selling pressure. That being said, I think you have to look at this as a market that is in the midst of trying to sort out some type of basing pattern. Now, I don't necessarily think that the euro is going to turn things around and suddenly we're going to take off to the upside, but I do recognize that there is a potential that we're trying to re-enter the previous consolidation range. With that being said, the 50-day EMA would be targeted, followed by the 1.09 level, and then eventually the 1.10 level, which I think is the absolute top of the euro right now. I suspect at this point we try to get somewhere inside the larger consolidation area and stabilize, which is what this pair tends to do a lot of anyways, as it is very range bound. And this year very well could be more of the same due to the fact that both central banks are likely to cut rates this year. So really at the end of the day, you have to ask the question who's winning. So with that being said, the U.S. dollar is a safety currency, so if there are a lot of geopolitical issues, and let's face it, there are a lot of geopolitical issues, that does tend to make people run towards the dollar in times of concern. With that being said, I think short-term rallies allow selling opportunities for those who are more swing traders, but short-term traders may continue to kick this pair back and forth if they are nimble enough, it might be a profitable way to trade the euro.